then to the next of our awards as we come uh, very close towards the conclusion of proceedings. Still some big awards to be handed out. Um, from the world champions and continental champions and players with trophy cabinets brimming with accolades, there's been a steady influx of global superstars right here in the Middle East. Add to that a plethora of homegrown talent and football in the Middle East is at its most formidable. That's been evident in some brilliant performances over the last year. But who has been the player who delivered the very best and most consistently? Yeah, this one's kindly sponsored by our friends at Ito Preziosi. And the finalists then are... Cristiano Ronaldo. Riyad Mahrez. Mohamed Al Shanawi. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Dubai Globe Soccer Awards Best Middle East Player, I think the roof is about to go off, is none other than Cristiano Ronaldo. It was a magical year for you, Cristiano, and the accolades just keep on coming. Your 54 goals in 2023 impressively also secures you the Maradona Award, brought to you by Nakheel. Extraordinarily, this trophy actually has the exact replica of the late, great Diego Maradona's foot. Cristiano Ronaldo further added to his legacy by taking his talents to El Nasser in Saudi Arabia. His foresight made the globalization of football a reality as the eyes of the world shifted towards the Middle East. Ronaldo's prowess on the pitch is undeniable, but it's his ability for making revolutionary decisions off it which sets him apart. Now in Riyadh and spearing the attack for El Nasser, they've become the team to beat. The year 2023 ended with CR7 netting a staggering and world-leading 54 goals for both El Nasser and the Portuguese national team. Another Globe Soccer Award for Cristiano. Let's get a few words with him. Cristiano. Congratulations, Cristiano. We were talking earlier about how you used the motivation of some of the criticism. How important was that first goal that you scored in Saudi Arabia? Do you remember it? It was a penalty, I think. Yes, I remember. It was a good moment. It was my first one. And it um, was good. It wasn't special because the, special, the first one is always the special. But it was good. I was so proud. I did an um, amazing season. Um, I, have to say, I, I have to say thank you to my teammates, my coaches from uh, Al Nassar, from Portugal national team. And uh, I feel so proud. I never won this trophy, the best Middle East player, and Maradona <laughs> as well. So I will put with, my, uh, with passion in my museum because it's two special ones. And um, I'm so proud, I have, I have to say uh, thank you to my wife, to my kids that deal with me every day. Sometimes I know I'm a little bit boring, but it's, it's my job you know, to be consistent every time. So thank you uh, to the Global Soccer uh, for this uh, amazing award. And you have said, you know, this is about more than just you. This is about growing football in the game in, a, in another region. How confident are you that the influx of players will continue? I hope so. Uh, as I say before, uh, the league, the Russian league, start uh, one year ago to grow and grow. And I'm sure 100% they'll, they will continue to grow uh, because our, our boss, they decide and they love football. And um, in my opinion, the league will be top, top, top. Well, top, top, top. You've got another trophy to collect. If I can just usher you back over there, this is the pretty special, the Maradona Award, complete with a replica of the foot. Congratulations.
Yeah, congratulations to Cristiano. He's going to need Thanks. all his hands there uh, for the two trophies as well as he makes his way uh, off the stage. Right.